Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, an interview with Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike Isratel. Before we get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, I'm honored to finally be joined by Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike Isratel. Never spoke to you before, Dr. Mike, and I appreciate you having me, or <laughs> I appreciate you joining me. And before we get started, I just want to say I know this is a big day for you. I just want to encourage you to relax, let your, person out, per, let your personality out, and let your uh, let your let your sense of humor shine. It's a huge deal. Well, we'll leave all the disgusting jokes for literally in five minutes when they begin. All right, Doctor Mike. Uh, we were talking before we came on, and I was asking if you're going to lift today, but you were actually saying you were going to go out to the club tonight. Show up to the club, and girls are like, "Hey, what's up? What are you up to?" And you're like, and "She's like, oh my god, pack Morse code." And then uh, I was going to do sexual things with my face, but that's not YouTube friendly. I guess we got on YouTube now, Dr. Mike. All right, Dr. Mike, recently you stepped out and began talking about locker room encounters. Uh, you mentioned something about how well hung you are and what kind of chaos that can create in a locker room. Can you talk about that just a little bit? They look at you. You take your clothes off. They're like, what are you doing? You're like, it's a locker room. And they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But I, I'm, I don't know how to say this, but you are just, uh, uh, and you're like, yeah, I, it's just, it's just me, you know, but I mean, did you want to like, I don't want to, but did you want to? And they're like, let's go in the, let's go in the bathroom stall. All right, Dr. Mike, didn't expect to hear that kind of information, but if that's what you need to get off your chest, we all appreciate it. No judgment. Is this a type of uh, interaction that happens frequently? Did, did this happen just recently? Friday. All right, let's change uh, directions a little bit and talk about squats, one of everyone's favorite lives. You have sort of a squat fear can you walk us through what's going through your mind when you step into the squat rack? And you're looking at the squat rack and you're like, fuck this, man. I don't want to be here anymore. Just kill me. And God's like, no problem. Lightning. And you just absorb the shit. You're like, ha ha ha. And you lightning him back. And he's like, yo. And you're like, yo. And he's like, yo. And you're like, yo. And you're like, are we related? And he's like, yep. What's up, son? Technically, we're all God's children. All right, let's move beyond squatting. What's your favorite thing about entering the gym, about going to the gym? They make some friends there and it's like six girls and they're like, oh my God, you're really buff. Can you teach us how to do like gym stuff? We're gonna go lift. You're like, of course, ladies. And you just spend the rest of the hour showing them Dr. Mike YouTube videos. All right, you're saying when you walk into the gym, your favorite thing is to mingle with the ladies, show them your YouTube videos. I get a blush, turn red erection. I want to get close. I kind of want to smell them. On the other hand, I don't want to like crowd them out. All right. Let's talk about the business end of things for a little bit. What's your average day at work look like? What does it look like when you boot up your computer? Um, when I was setting up my computer yesterday, it like literally clicked like, what do you use it for? And it's like gaming, porn, whatever. And I clicked the business one and now it's like literally kicking dicks out of my mouth at work. Unbelievable. Did you say kicking dicks out of your mouth? Some people do really struggle with that word, and um, I don't struggle with words, I'm quite verbose, but I do struggle with definitely my sexuality, as Scott the Video Guy just pointed out. I'm addicted to adult films. I just picked up smoking as a habit. All right, let's talk a little bit about your family wife. You feature your wife in your videos a lot. Do you have anything else going on at home? A dog? A poodle? What is the purpose of a poodle? They're not cute. Don't start. Don't even get in the comments with the shit. They look ridiculous. They bitch all the time. There's nothing a poodle won't whine about. And poodles hate me. I've been over a few friends' houses, they had poodles, and they just sit in the corner and go, Arr! 
Man, man, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You either fight me or not. They're weird. They're anxious. Allegedly, they're smart. What the fuck, motherfucker? I didn't buy a computer. I bought a fucking dog. I don't need it to be smart. I'm smart. There's only two smart people in my house. I'm going to say one, but my wife's probably smarter than me. So, like a dog, a bulldog's a fine dog. Bulldogs are better than poodles. That's the last thing about it I'll say. How's that for a 10? Now, with how big your channel has grown, it must be a little bit awkward to go out in public. Can you share a story recently, something, some encounter that you had when you just went out to maybe the grocery store? Ashley from Raleigh, North Carolina. She's like, oh my God, I'm here with my friends. And I know it's your quads are like so bad. Let's fuck. All right, let's talk about the barbell overhead press of the military press. Is this a lift you use? It's been getting a lot of chatter lately in YouTube fitness, and I want to get your thoughts on it. Turn up that onion on that machine, stand next to the machine, and do fucking barbell overhead presses. It'll build some goddamn ovaries on your body. In your body? Yeah. They belong somewhere of that, I'm sure. Again, sex makes me nervous, so I didn't pay attention in class when they were going over that stuff. All right, now your wife is a lifter as well. Can you give us some advice on lifting for females? What, is there any way that women should train differently? What are your general thoughts on females and resistance training? But a lot of females think, I'm going to start lifting weights. I'm going to turn into, what was her name in that Matilda movie, Trench Bull or whatever? Is that accurate? Yeah. 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 Uh, definitely my type of lady. I'd be like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I kind of envision myself as like some air conditioning contractor that comes to the school they have in the universe. And like, I'm just like walking in and she's like, you fix the air conditioner. I'm like, yo, I'm saying I could do it now or we get a pop or I could do it now and we could get a pop in after. Clearly not at a school. That's a degenerate behavior. But I assume Miss Trenchbull has somewhere to live and ostensibly fornicate. All right, let's clean things up a little bit and pull things out of the gutter. We keep, we seem to keep returning back into the gutter and returning back to porn and some odd and dick talk. And, and earlier, you even mentioned some guy named Jim that was masturbating. Right now, again, connecting to the ultraverse, seeing what everyone's thinking and feeling. Jim, really, you're jacking off again. Since we keep coming back to masturbation and Jim, you go ahead and pick the next topic, Dr. Mike. Pick any sport. Just think of a sport in your mind right now. It's volleyball, isn't it? You fucking perverts. Men's volleyball. That's what I was thinking of. All right. The comment section of YouTube and Instagram can just be a minefield of chaos. Tell us about some of the types of comments that really bother you. Like, do you look for dicks actively in lifting videos? I can see your dick through your clothes, man. Like, do you want my number? All right, Dr. Mike, let's talk about the socially awkward lifter, lifters who have just a hard time connecting with other people outside of the gym. Do you have any advice for these guys on how to, uh, you know, step out of the gym and, and make friends and win friends and influence people? Here's the deal. Go through your phone book in your phone. Find a friend you haven't talked to in years. Maybe a conversation that would even be awkward. Text them. Better yet, call them. Tell them about my reps and hey, tell them Dr. Mike said. All right. Now you mentioned my reps. I'm glad we're returning to the uh, realm of training. You make a lot of form videos. Can you talk about that a little bit? I thought there was correct technique that was basically identical for everyone. And then I fucking took one of my balls out and hit it with a hammer to punish myself because that was fucking stupid. Now, Dr. Mike, I get the sense from this interview that you're a very complex man and you might be struggling with some personal issues, some personal things that you haven't really let out into the general public. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, maybe share something with us that is that would be very difficult for you to share. I'll just say it. I have a nasty habit of picking up truck drivers at truck stops and like... You guys ever see that where the hyenas get like one of the deer limbs off and they just, eight of them are pulling it. And that's me at a truck stop. I'm the deer limb. It feels so good. They don't tell you that in sex ed class when they're like, respect your body. But what if disrespect is the thing that turns me on? I want to be a piece of meat in the wind. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Dr. Mike, I appreciate you joining me. It's been an interesting conversation to say the least. Any final words before we go? Sex is hard. Fuck sex. Don't have it. Read religious scripture and be a good person. And I'll see you guys next time. 
All right, guys, there you have it. Thanks, Dr. Mike. I appreciate it. You can find Dr. Mike everywhere on Instagram, YouTube, you name it, Dr. Mike is Rattel. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.